How you doing, gardeners? Ed Snyder with Fresh Picked Acres. Hey, I'm here in West Central Illinois, and uh, a, a friend of mine, he is helping me uh, work on uh, calibrating my meters uh, for my Model 7000 planter. Now, uh, this gentleman's turned right around, been with John Deere for 23 years. He's got a lot of knowledge uh, in, uh, in with the John Deere equipment and farming as a whole. And we look here at our at our meter. Is actually what you're going to be looking at right there. There's there's a completed meter, uh, all put together. There's a lot that goes into uh, having a good meter. We have our brush. We have everything put back together. But there's some things that I think that make that does make a difference. And uh, I'm going to cover what some of my problems are with my meters that maybe you can learn upon it. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at that. Let's start off first, uh, you know, part of the calibrating uh, our, our meters comes down to this is you're trying to save money by having one seed drop in at the proper amount of time to go through the meter. What happens is on, uh, on a meter as it goes bad is you'll experience things that I'm dealing with. One of them is going to be, I have, you, you do have to worry about skips. But also we got to worry about is planting two or three seeds at once instead of uh, just, just one seed at a time. We're looking at the back plate of the meter, and this is what's important. This is what uh, my friend told me that uh, is not good with my particular uh, meters. They, again, they've, they're older meters, is they're, they are rough. They, they are a little smoother than they should be. They're rough and smooth, I guess you can say. They're not as pronounced. This is a brand new one. If we look here at this particular back plate of the corn meter, you'll see it has a very pronounced ridge. Now that ridge is designed to knock off an additional seed or two that's riding along for free with the, with the seed that's intended to be planted. The next thing, that John Deere has uh, came up with, and this is the brush. Now the brush is positioned in here like this. I'm just showing it to you. That's also in the same location as our double right here as we have our, on our back plate where it bounces. The brush also kicks off any free loading seeds in there. Now I'm gonna show you what mine look like and there's the one that was actually in the meter right there. That's what I had. This is a brand new one. Night and day difference, isn't it? Plus you can see how this one is, you know, I mean, it's, it's only natural. It's had uh, tens of thousands of seeds, hundreds of thousands of seeds bypass it. And in this case, it, it, it's much, uh, it's gonna knock out the seeds. It's, uh, this was probably doing nothing for the most part. It might've helped a little bit here and there, but this is the brush that also goes in. So what I'm doing on, the, on my particular uh, planner on my meters is we're replacing the back plate because mine are wore. My, mine are just simply just wore this little bounce right there. If you compare that to a new back plate, you'll see the difference between the two of them. Also, what comes with the back plate is a new brush. Uh, that there's also going to help us out on that. The last thing we're going to do, we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about uh, uh, getting it calibrated with the proper poundage. We're going to get back to that. But let's go ahead and show you, folks, how this goes back in. It's just a simple uh, bolt that actually uh, that it actually goes in. You can't mess this up because it has only a screw really right there that where it sets in. You put your plate, put that back in, put in your bolt. You just gotta line it up. John Deere, you know, the companies, they have these things so engineered that even a guy like myself can, can repair them. There we go. So I have that in there. Uh, so my brush, that's installed. All right, so we have one more thing I have to do. We have to put this back on here. There is a notch. There's a notch that tells it where it's gonna go. Well, you do wanna go ahead and check these and make sure there's plenty of tension. And, and in my case, this one might be a little weak. The, most of them are in pretty good shape. So you just gotta make sure you don't knock them out of their position. 
So I have a notch. That's uh, it's going to slide right on. And you hear it? Whoop! It didn't snap there. There it snapped in. All right. So you just pick it up and let it snap in. Make sure it's all good there. Uh, we're going to go ahead and screw this on. To close that up, it has to be in. If it if it isn't snapped in, uh, just like me, you'll know it. And we're, it's it's time now to test this. So now it's time to go ahead, and I have my bolt screwed on here, but we need 25 inch pounds on this on on my meter. We don't want it free spooling. I know it seems like you ought to have it loose so it moves quickly and that it's actually calibrated for 25 inch pounds. This is a snap on a uh, torque wrench. And uh, what my friend has done is he's also put on a socket on it and he has a notch here so that it can fit over the top of this. Um, we'll go ahead, I wanna make sure I turn it the right way. There we go, oh, I see. And what I want to do is look at it to see where I'm at. Here, I think I got it. Let me, let me go again. A little more. I think I got it. Oh, I'm within about a pound, ain't I? Yep. I got to tell you just a hair more. It's, it's, it's hand tight, but awful hand tight. So I'm having to switch over here and use my pliers here and get this. And you want to go ahead, uh, as I was instructed, you know, as my friend has said, you want to go ahead here and actually rotate this. And you want to make sure you turn it the right way. You don't want to go in reverse. But you want to go ahead and move that all the way around one full revolution. And I am running right on the money, uh, 25 inch pounds. We'll move the camera here. I'm going to let you see what that kind of looks like on the camera and I'll put some pressure on it. And uh, is that showing up? Uh, I'm certain it is, yeah. And um, whoop, there we go. You just put it right on, I'm just trying to hold it there. That'll give you the right amount of poundage to go on your, on your, uh, on, on your meter. The second thing, to test your belt, and the belt is directional and it does tell you uh, inside of which way it wants to go but you want to take it you want to pull it you want to twist it a little bit as long as it doesn't rip we're going to be in good shape and these particular belts are in good shape so i'm good there what i've done i've replaced my my brush i have a replaced uh, back plate you can understand as the, as the free as you get two or three seeds that's riding along here what will happen is that one seed's gonna go bump, bump, and the brush will also knock one off. Having these calibrated gives me just as much of an advantage as much of the newer equipment that costs hundreds of thousands of dollars, and I've done it for under $500 here today. If you like these types of videos, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe, and come grow with us. Out there being like, what's going on? What's going on? You got it, you got it, we won, we won.